Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today's learning goal is to read a thermometer to the nearest 10 degrees. Well, what is a degree and what is a thermometer? Hmm. We can measure many things. We can measure how long something is, or how tall something is, or how much will fit inside of something, or how heavy something is. But also, we can do some measurement with our weather. Sometimes when we go outside, it feels cold. And sometimes when we go outside, oh, it feels so hot. And we can measure how cold or how hot something feels. And we use degrees to do that. We often use a thermometer to measure the temperature of something. Do you see? It's right behind me here. We are going to use this thermometer to help us see how warm it is outside. Are you ready? Let's take a look. This is our thermometer. <laughs> there are some big numbers all the way around the outside and some smaller numbers around the inside because we can measure temperature in two different ways. The big numbers are showing us Celsius. Hmm. And the arrow here is pointing and is it closer to the 20 or is it closer to the 30? It's so much closer to the 30. So it's almost 30 degrees in Celsius. But the inside, our small little numbers, is showing the Fahrenheit. Is it closer to the, hmm, I was going to say the 80 or the 100, but it's right on top of the 80. Our Fahrenheit, it goes minus 60, minus 40, minus 20, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And today it is 80 degrees. Class, I have another type of thermometer here. This thermometer does not have an arrow on it. Instead, there's a little tube filled with liquid. And when it's cold, the liquid shrinks down. And when it is warmer, the liquid stretches up taller on this little grid. And the grid will tell us about how warm or how cold it is using degrees. Hmm. We are going to take a look and see if we can see how warm it is and how warm it is to the closest 10 degrees. You'll notice here on the side that says C, it goes up by 10. We have 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if we're looking at it, we can see which Hmm, which 10 it is closest to? On this thermometer, it is closest to 20 degrees, 20 degrees Celsius. Well then, we can just look right over here on the Fahrenheit side to see that it is closest to the 70 because it's between the 60 and the 80. It is on the 70 line. Let's take a really close look at my thermometer. On my thermometer, on the Fahrenheit scale, it jumps by 20 degrees. So we have minus 40, minus 20, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And the liquid inside is pointing up between 80 and 60, showing 70 degrees. On the other side, on the Celsius side, it does jump by tens. 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. And in Celsius, 0 is freezing. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees. In Celsius, it is 20 degrees. And in Fahrenheit, it is about 70. Hmm, I'm wondering if I can change my thermometer by putting it in some cold water. And then we'll see if there is a difference in the temperature. I just put my thermometer in some cold water so it's not showing 
up to 70 degrees anymore. It's even below 60 degrees. Hmm, is it closer to 50 or closer to 60? I think it's pretty close to 60 degrees. So it's almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's harder to tell here over on the Celsius side if it's closer to 10 or 20. On the Celsius side, each little line represents two degrees. So this is 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hmm, I do think it's closer to 20 on this side. I'd like for you to practice today with your thermometer and see which 10 degrees is it closer to? <laughs> Mine's getting warmer because it's out of the cold water. So it's even higher than 60 degrees now. Oh class, I am so glad that you came and practiced the math with me today. I hope that you have fun measuring how warm and how cold things are. Hmm, how cold is it inside of your refrigerator? How warm is it or how cold is it outside? Is it colder in your bedroom than it is in the kitchen? We can measure the heat or how warm or cold something is. And we often use degrees to do that. Sometimes we use the Fahrenheit scale and sometimes we use the Celsius scale. Have fun practicing. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.